Deuce Drone became an idea about a year ago when John Fanning met Philip Burton. And they started talking about what can drones be used for? Can they be used to deliver products and goods? And Philip was looking at it going, does this make uh, retail centers uh, stay relevant? Um, does it help uh, with real estate management? Does it help retailers get product out to customers in a better way? They asked me to join the, uh, the team um, because of my aerospace background, which is critical for some of the stuff we want to do. But the real criticality is the tech. And so the tech is what you see there. K.J. Hardrick uh, back here on the left, uh, Timmy Hussein on the right. Um, we're the next people to join our team. They're uh, MIT uh, trained aerospace engineers with a robotics specialty, and this is robotics. So um, that's what we needed. And they came down here because MIT conveniently didn't want them there anymore. <laughs> um, so they came down and joined us here in Mobile. Uh, Mobile. Um, we have uh, Josh Laird here. He joined our team and, and uh, has been working on things like package retention, package design, um, and the things that are going to actually uh, be left with the customers and be holding all of these fine goods. And then um, Ms. Brandy Rogers joined us as uh, one of our program management leads, also out of the aerospace sector. Uh, Alex Fine is not here. He's the gentleman that uh, designed our app. Deuce Drone is working to enable last mile delivery for local retail. That doesn't mean that it's only the Ma and Pa. We expect national chains like Buffalo Wild Wings, um, their local stores, Rouse's, a super regional and rapidly going uh, high-end grocery chain, um, as well as many others, to get their packages from their stores to customers, whether it's B2B or B2C. It brings a value proposition that includes brand quality control back in the retailer's hands, as well as minimizes the contact of the packages between the retail site and the customer's actual, actual receipt. The last person that touches the package is the retailer, so they maintain their brand control, and then the next person that touches the package is you, the customer. So what you're gonna see is this drone bubbles, Okay, I'll, I'll explain that later if you're curious, <laughs> but uh, Bubbles will fly multiple deliveries today between multiple stops. So Bubbles is a DJI Matrix 600 Pro drone, weighs 26 pounds plus or minus with, with batteries loaded and can fly at up to 40 miles per hour. So goes at a pretty good clip. So that's about 0.6 miles per minute. And empty, it has a 30-minute flight time, so it can go about uh, 10 miles out and 10 miles back um, and maintain reserves empty. Uh, with a full payload, which would be 12 pounds, and, and hopefully all of you all have seen, but this here gives you some representation of things that we could carry. Um, and typically, so you look at a gallon of milk is about eight pounds by itself, so we could deliver a gallon of milk, a couple of bags of chips if people wanted or uh, eggs along with the milk as an example. Or one of these full up bags of Buffalo Wild Wings as you see here is about four pounds. So as we further design our landing gear, we could take a family of four or fives full meal to them with one drone. Fully loaded, the drone has about a five mile outbound uh, range. As we build out our drone port network, we cover entire geographic regions, suburban regions with families. So our current network within Mobile, just with the Rouses and the Buffalo Wild Wings, will reach almost 200,000 people. Gives you a sense of, of scope and scale. So with that though, the guys are gonna take the drone on outside and get set up for the next part while we go through a few other things. It'll be loaded up. It's gonna go out and we're gonna fly a short course route, so a closer in customer. So the drone's gonna go out about one-tenth of a mile, come back at a customer's location. What you'll see there is you'll see this mat on the table. Part of this is a visual to help customers understand this is a place where a drone's gonna come and they should stay away from while the drone's operating. Long term, we could see this going away in favor of, of much smaller, less intrusive things, okay? But initially, that's what's gonna happen.
The other thing that you'll see, so the drone's gonna take off, go to the customer based on the customer's GPS coordinates. But when it gets to the customer, we want it to land in a specific place, not just wherever around the customer's property. So the other thing is you're gonna see something that so far we think we're one of the first companies to, to have focused on, which is detect and flight manage. So you will see the drone come up, you'll see the drone go into hover and start descending and you'll actually see it moving around a little bit while it centers itself towards the map. Okay? That's very important because then that also gives us the confidence that it's going to land where it's supposed to. Because although GPS is very accurate, it can not always be as accurate as you'd like. Those are two principal things. And the other thing you're going to see is the drone will automatically release the package and leave it there for the customer. It will then take off and go on to its next place, um, which will be Buffalo Wild Wings, because somebody's going to kindly uh, submit an order um, for some Buffalo Wild Wings. And then the drone's going to go downrange a pretty good bit. So it's going to go down three tenths of a mile and then come back. So that you'll see will be about a half a mile delivery and you'll get a sense of speed. So we're going to kick it up to 33 uh, miles per hour um, and it'll be flying at about 100 feet. In that, you're going to see the drone control its own flight, deliver to two different customer locations, do all of its things, return back to base, um, and it's going to recognize four different landing zones. It's very significant when you realize that we did this in, in about three months worth of development time. Uh, so with that, I'm going to ask KJ to come up here and help me a minute. Um, we're going to show you the app in, in operation and, the, and a couple of things that happens here. So if those on the periphery so it's like any other app, um, you know, it's on your iPhone, it's on your Android, uh, Android device or whatever, um, and you just go ahead and click it open. So we've kind of pre-set up a few things to keep this moving along, but KJ's gonna put in an order, so he's excited, he got his app, <laughs> wants to order immediately, so he goes and orders, gets, uh, uh, these guys love Buffalo Wild Wings hamburgers, man, I'm telling you, I watched them pound some down. I wish I could eat like that still. Um, so he's going to get some wings here, um, put it into his cart, and then he's going to go to his cart thinking, I can immediately get my delivery, okay? But he's got to have a location um, where it can go, and so if you'd uh, go ahead, it's going to say set up for delivery. And so it starts you here, asks you for an address, so he's got an address pre-typed in here. He confirms it, wants to verify, hey, this is still KJ, your shipping address. Now here's the thing, you don't have a mat yet. So we're going to ship KJ a mat, so it says ship drone mat. It's going to confirm shipment and then he gets the mat, comes in the mail. Now it says mats arrived. This is important for those of you that have ever had DirecTV or Dish Network at your home. When you're signing up for it, they always ask you, you know, go outside, look in a quadrant of the sky, make sure you can see the sky, no trees, nothing like that. We're going to ask you the same thing. So it asks you to give you your MAC code, which will come and will be written on the map. So I'll keep it as simple as possible. Hit setup, away you go. It says find a flat spot on your property. You can put this in your backyard, you can put it in your front yard, you can put it on your driveway. Wherever you, wherever you feel comfortable that you want it to go. So once you've done that, you go out, find, it says now go stand on your mat. So KJ's gonna stand on the mat, he's gonna look up, and you're kinda looking for about a, you know, 15, 20 foot clear area up to the sky, which is not that big, but you know, no tree limbs, you know, no power lines coming over, any of that sort of stuff, all property pretty much has that. Um, so there he does that. When he's done doing that, he just hits confirm on his phone. And your phone, which we all know always has um, GPS location, it's now just recorded a GPS location. The drone will now know, so tells you to go back to shop, so now you can do all that. Shop, so the drone now knows generally where GPS typically on high accuracy days is good to about two meters, about six, seven feet radius. So that means, you know, we're, we're talking a circle like this, 
of accuracy, so not too bad. Now, on bad GPS days, that could go out to five, five or so meters. So that, so again, that's part of why the vision system, so that we make sure it doesn't land, uh, you know, in a uh, on your neighbor's property, zero lot line houses, or that sort of thing, um, and that it's always safe. The other thing this does, as I said, is it gives you that visual understanding. Don't stand here. Keep your dog away from it, kids, and all that. And you want to kind of stay. So that's the app process, pretty straightforward. And then yes, it'll show you your drones in the air with your package. Um, it'll track it along. Now the fun thing is speed of delivery. So if I ordered, I'd be coming from over here at Airport Boulevard to get from, from Buffalo Wild Wings down and over Old Shell and out here to Cody and then over here. My drone's just gonna come straight. Hi everyone, it's KJ here, and before we get to the actual flight demo, which is really cool by the way, I highly recommend you stay to the end and just watch it play out. I wanted to quickly talk about my channel sponsor, Skillshare, who allows me to continue to be creative and innovative even during these weird times. You can learn from thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics from web development and design to music, entrepreneurship, and so much more. Skillshare's creative classes are designed for real life and all the circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions. I recommend classes like Unlocking Your Potential, Five Exercises to Build Creative Confidence, and Learn How to Mix Music with Young Guru. Personally, I've really enjoyed the class Intro to UX Fundamentals of Usability by Marik Miklowski. Through this class, I learned the importance of conducting a diverse range of user tests for a given design. The classes are curated specifically for learning, and Skillshare is always launching new premium classes so you can continue to learn. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two-month free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Um, see the mat out in the middle of the field here. Drone will land at that mat, leave its package, and then head over to B-dubs. And so you see our guys at Drone Command. And so we're kicking it up, Lawrence. So it's gone up to 75 feet. It's going to head down range and it'll climb up to 100 feet as it's heading down range. That's about a tenth of a mile. Okay, and you'll see it'll come, and as it's coming in to nearing its destination, it's gonna stop and check. So this is a sense and detect point, and it's gonna start descending down. So that's to make sure no power lines, trees, or whatever. Now what it's doing is it's stopping and looking for the map. And you'll see it kind of start to move around a little bit as it centers itself in. And now as it starts coming down, it said, I see the map, I'm at the right place, and I'm okay to start my descent. And there it hit its point that said, I'm 100% lined up and I'm ready to go. So now it's letting the box go. It's going over to B-dubs because, because we said we got another order. Buffalo Wild Wings is over here.
now the drone port would normally be automated. The package would come out, and what he's doing is simulating what that would be, but the package will go back under the drone and be latched back in for the next run. So now it'll go again to that 75 feet, and then it'll head down range. Now this one's gonna go three tenths of a mile down range. All the way out to the tree line way down there. So it reached 33 miles an hour. It's going a half mile. It'll be coming back at 33 miles an hour. And you'll see that same stop as it comes in near, its, uh, near the customer to make sure it's clear to start its descent down. So there's the stop and it'll start coming in. So you all notice two mats there. That represents a zero lot line condition. So we had customer A and customer B who didn't care that they were that close, but you saw that the drone recognized and went to the correct mat. Now, doesn't have another order, but it's going back to its home drone port, which will be heading back over here to Rouse. And that's it. Yeah! <laughs> that's a demonstration of how we're going to operate um, in real world conditions. Um, just to give you a sense, we were out here yesterday uh, flying and, and preparing and everything else all day. So we did about 20 of these yesterday in all weather conditions. Um, we didn't fly in an actual thunderstorm because nobody's going to do that. So we did fly yesterday with a little bit of uh, mist and other stuff. A lot of wind. A lot of wind. So, nice and stable, came in, left the package every time. <laughs>